Hey everybody and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis, and this is the beginning of a brand new series. This series is gonna be focused around learning Vue.js, okay? Specifically, Vue.js 2.0. Now, uh, Vue.js is a brand new framework. Um, for those of you guys that don't, just kind of stumbled on this because maybe you're subscribed to me, you don't know what this is. Um, the rest of you, I'm sure, found it through search and got here. But anyway, Vue.js is a very lightweight framework that's been kind of growing in popularity like crazy lately. So um, it's a brand new JavaScript framework. By brand new, I actually mean it's like a year or two old. I think it's about two years old now, but it just deployed basically out of beta not too long ago, and now it's switched over to version 2.0. And so, um, and the other thing that's been interesting with Vue.js is that it's been adopted by Laravel as kind of the de facto um, JavaScript framework included with Laravel now. So now every Laravel 5.3 installation comes with a pre-configured app um, component, we'll talk about those later, for Vue.js that um, basically gets it initialized right from the get-go from every new Laravel 5.3 app. So with it coming pre-bundled with Laravel 5.3, a lot of Laravel developers, PHP developers, have been wanting to learn more about Vue.js. I've been getting lots of requests to learn Vue.js, and um, that's what we're gonna be doing in this tutorial series, okay? So to start off, we're just gonna be learning about Vue.js as a JavaScript framework. We're actually not gonna mix it with Laravel or anything like that. We're just gonna be using it uh, straight out of the box just as a JavaScript framework, JavaScript and HTML. So Vue.js and HTML, that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna learn the basics of Vue.js, how it works, what it does. Um, we're gonna talk about binding and all sorts of stuff like that. And um, after we get a good grasp for Vue.js, we're, we're gonna build a to-do application. I know it's kind of the basic one, but it's a perfect example on how to use Vue.js. So we're gonna be building a to-do application. And then after that, once we've mastered Vue.js, I'm going to start um, we're actually going to start building a full-fledged application, um, and we will use Laravel as the backend, and we will um, combine Vue.js with Laravel to build a time clock application. So this is actually something I needed for work, and I thought, hey, I actually needed it like yesterday, and um, I'm like, you know what? I'm getting so sick of the way we're managing time clocks for my employees, and so I'm like, I'm going to build our own time clock. So I thought, hey, how cool it'd be. We'll build, use Laravel on the back end. We'll use Vue.js to make it really interactive, and we're going to build a little time clock application that's going to be like a real application that I'm going to use, and so it's going to like a real full-scale application you guys can learn from. Okay, so that's what we're going to be building. Many videos down the road after we've mastered Vue.js, we're actually going to build an application with it. Okay, so that's kind of the plan for this series. That's all I've got for this video. The next video is going to talk about installing Vue.js. We're going to install it on our, well, I guess you already have Vue.js. You're not really installing it. We're gonna install the uh, CLI, the command line interface um, that allows us to get up and running. And we're gonna get started on the first few concepts. So we're gonna just kind of dive through concepts. Then we're gonna build the to-do app. And then we're gonna finish off building a full-scale app using Laravel's the back end, Vue.js on the front end basically, and um, that's kind of the, that's the curriculum for this series. So hopefully it's something you guys enjoy. I've gotten a lot of requests for Vue.js, and um, we're gonna be focusing on Vue.js 2.0. There really are not a lot of tutorials right now about 2.0, so I really wanna focus on 2.0, and that's what the currently released version. It was released um, earlier this month, I believe. I think the beginning of this month, so it's very, very new. Um, anyway, that's what I got for you guys. Make sure to stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, like the video if you're excited, and I will see you in the next video.